Welcome back to our restoration department. As you can see, we're still working on our 69 GTO Judge. If uh, you missed last month's newsletter, make sure you check it out on surfcitygarage.com or YouTube. We'll go talk to Miguel and see where we're at so far. Miguel just uh, finished painting it since the last episode. They're starting to do the final assembly and it's turning out really well. This is the dashboard, so take a look. Did you send it out and have the pad redone? Is there anything original on this piece? Yes, it's all original. Yeah, we did all the assembling here. We just bolted on the car. Should look nice now. Sure. Bring it back to life. Well, I guess they're going to do the upholstery next because Miguel's trying to get a hold of the upholstery guy. Yeah, he's supposed to be here at 8 o'clock. He's still not here? Not here yet. Check it out. One of the tips is to make sure you put the original paint on the floor trunk. You know, a lot of guys just paint solid color, but you see those... Uh, is it the splatter paint? Yes, that's the way it should be. From the, from the factory it came like Five, that? Factory came like that. Huh. You got all the wires ran for the lights yeah. already? All there. It's probably a pretty good tip to make sure you run all that stuff before you get the, the interior in. So technically right now if you put the steering wheel and gas pedal in you can start it up and drive it just like it is. Uh, we finished all the, um, the chassis and drivetrain before we even put the body on the car. So once the body comes out of the, the paint department, um, Ishmael and the mechanics already have the chassis all together ready to go. Slap the body on and then just do all the final assembly. Um, it makes it a lot faster. We normally get the car done in five, six months. Still seems like a really long time, but for as much work that goes into it, as many hours, it's actually uh, getting it done really fast. The judge had a, a little more features than your regular GTO. They had uh, different carburetors, uh, different camshaft, um, and they also had different gearing in the rear rear end. And then a lot of the suspension was um, a lot stronger than the, the standard GTO. Another tip I've noticed what Miguel does is actually before they even paint the car, they make sure all the body lines yeah. and door lines are we perfect. We really think about the gaps around yeah. the quarter panel, between the fender, they do it all the gaps should be nice and even. Alright guys, we gotta get back to work. Make sure you stay tuned and check out next month's newsletter so you can see the end result. I'm going Go. What? Welcome to our diner slash Shelby uh, <laughs> Tell them a little bit of, about the car, Miguel, and then you can take them into the back and show them what you're working on right now. What's up, man? Um, Miguel is actually in charge of our restoration department. He's in charge of... Um, hey, Kenneth, how you doing? Good, Miguel, how are you? Good. What did you say? Dad, come home, your poor old mother dead. What'd you do? Then I grabbed a train. I went home up line. She wasn't dead, but she was slow.